From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with huge news today about your stock market, your bonds, your crypto, the fate of the U.S. economy, the housing market crash of 2022, the stock market crash of 2022, and of course, your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. In this according to live from the shores of Santa Monica, California this morning, we go over those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. They're incredible. I found them for you, and they're huge. You qualify for them. Upwards of $85,000 a check for you. You won it. And I'm going to show you how to get those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. They're coming up in this recording, live on air. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That features those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. The breaking news this morning is robust. As we have housing data, job data, economic data, and we have the big week ahead of us that signals a real change of force. The change of force is that in 90 days from now, the U.S. economy will have dramatically shrunk. A lot of people don't want to use the word recession because that's not in the next 90 days. But what happens thereafter? In today's recording for the shores of Santa Monica, California, we'll go over why the Build Back Better Act needs to get teed up and will get teed up. The impact on that SS300, that'll raise your benefits up $300 a month. The big news about the housing market crash of 2022, the stock market crash of 2022, the job data. And is there a major deal in the works to get that price of gasoline down at the pump? I have the latest details on that front as well. Then we'll be looking at all the elements that's happening later today in the financial markets that impact your wallet and what's will be happening later this Friday. Major announcement this Friday, and what is it about? It's coming up in today's broadcast. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, the toast is toasted and the butter is butter. And it's a big, bold, beautiful morning, and the deliciousness of mornings LA heats up as we go right into a new week with a lot of breaking news and a lot of money at stake. I'm excited you're here. And the data, the breaking news, and everything you need to know starts right now as Mornings LA gets underway. And good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It is a big, bold, beautiful day, and the weather is gorgeous. A little bit warm outside, but hopefully you are doing well where you're tuning in. Have you gotten that four stimulus check in every U.S. state? If you haven't, welcome to this channel. And over this incredible one-hour broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California, we'll be going over these incredible checks how you get them, what's at issue, and what you need to know. The incredible details of those incredible checks starts with you becoming a member. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that incredible newsletter. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it has those incredible four stimulus checks in there. Those checks are for you. Upwards of $85,000 a check. Every check at issue will be detailed later in this recording. Stay with me over this broadcast. We have a lot to go over. We start today. With the data about the housing, the job market, the economic market, and all that, and how it impacts the Build Back a Better Act, what's at issue? The Build Back Better Act is currently in the negotiations between Joe Manchin and Chuck Schumer, and the provisions at issue will be discussed in detail tonight on Evening's LA, America's most watched show for financial news and prime time on this channel at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And at the time, we'll go over each of those individual provisions. But this is the breaking news we learned going into the weekend. The major provisions that Joe Manchin has been against have been the expansion of Medicare. But then out of nowhere, we had an incredible, shocking report that may change his opinion against those provisions. And what is it? A report released by the Department of Treasury, Janet Yellen, on Friday that said... Social Security is not going to run out of money for 75 more years. Whoa, that is a big surprise. This report, the release of the report, and the data in the report was a shocker. Number one, this report is generally not released that often. 
The last time we saw this report was in the 1980s, number two. Many people, including modern Democrats, thought that maybe Social Security was out of money or about to be out of money in just a few years. Not true, says Janet Yellen's report. 75 more years, there's enough money to run Social Security and Medicare. This could change the negotiations of the Build Back Better Act because those provisions that impl implicate the expansion of Medicare were not that popular among Joe Manchin for exactly the thought that maybe Medicare is run out of money. Well, if it's not, we could be in a really good position with those negotiations. What were those provisions that were really at issue in the Build Back Better Act? They were certainly the $250 billion for free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. That was not going to survive. Then the individual clusters uh, in that, that, the individual checks in that third cluster, which were dental, vision, hearing, expansion of Medicare, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, the Medicaid gap fix, and all that and more. Those all provisions look like they were in jeopardy. Now, if Joe Manchin reads that report, which he's going to, it's not likely that they're in jeopardy. Everything else in the second cluster is already out or would be removed. Paid leave, of course, is a very anti-Joe Manchin provision. That's not going to survive. And home repairs is already a stimulus check. I got it later in this recording. It is check A. But hazard pay, everything in that first cluster surviving. What about those add-ons? Those would survive about $15,000 to $80,000, like $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. And those MSCs, $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter is what they represent. That totals about $7,000. But that is why the Build Back Better Act is getting very interesting. On a big morning from the shores of Scandamanca, California, this morning. Now, what supports Build Back Better Act? First at issue is really the time element, the time element of getting the money out. They got to get the money out, the Democrats even represent themselves, before the midterm elections. Well, you don't vote in November. You vote three months ahead of time by mail-in ballot. That means they got to get it done by, you know, they got to get the money in your hands by September. If they get the money in your hands by September, they don't want to wait and send it out in September. Because why? They have that vacation that usually happens in mid to late August. So that means that they want to get it done to a vote before they leave in August. It seems what likely to happen. Likely. I'm not going to say it's definite. And I still think that they could still get it done in September. But it makes more sense to get the vote before they break in August. To vote before August, that means they have the bill have the bill written in July. If they have the bill written in July, then that means the toast is toasting right now. <laughs> it means that the the negotiations need to finish up right now. The toast is toast. There it is. <laughs> I told you there's toast coming. It's toasted, uh, and the butter is got to be buttering right now. And the bacon, uh, well, well, you know, it's always missing. Uh, the cough is coughing. <laughs> <laughs> the coffin is coffin. No, it, it is. It does not have a cold. It, it is per perfectly fine. It is not coffee in the coffee. Uh, th <laughs> there you go. The other thing that supports the Build Back Better Act is, of course, the bad economic data. I mean, the bad economic data is left and right. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Among one of the most important data points for the Build Back Better Act and anything for this U.S. government and this U.S. economy is the labor market. And over the last few weeks, you and I as viewers and members and, and as a Purple Power community have agreed to disagree with the data coming out of Wall Street. We just say the data coming out of Wall Street on the labor market, we don't buy. We just don't believe in it. Why? Let's do it again right now. If you're in the live chat, if you're in the live chat right now, say uh, more or less, when I ask the following question, if you go into the big box retailer, and you go to check out uh, in the last few weeks for your items you're about to buy, and you go to the checkout stand, do you see more employees at checkout helping you to check out, or do you see less employees? More or less. Jump in the live chat and write your comments right now. Viewers overwhelmingly have said actually less or none. <laughs> they said less or none. They say they used to go in the big box retail a few weeks ago, and they see about three or four employees at the checkout. Now they see sometimes none. So Wall Street hasn't been really mirroring that data. And what else have you been saying? Let's go to the next question. Uh, yes or no is the potential answers. Have you had friends or family or neighbors say they've been laid off in the last three weeks? Yes or no? Viewers have overwhelmingly said yes. 
they either say, I haven't heard anything, or it's yes, and they don't hear the really the verse, that people are getting massive sums of jobs. Now, the small... <laughs> I gotta laugh. I gotta laugh, because, you know, sometimes it's data, and the people that repeat the data, I look at them, and I'm all like, you're really out of touch. You know, I fully admit, I fully admit, I'm the kid in front of a surfboard with a bunch of beautiful plants. And yes, they're new, and yes, there's some new ones in there, so maybe. Uh, but I fully admit, I do not go to the big box retailers. They're not a lot around. I mean, I used to go to Target a little bit, but I don't, you know, I don't have really time. Uh, but I do ship from them. I do ship from them. Um, and I don't know what's going on in the store. I don't see it. So I admit, I don't see what's in the, in the store. I do not have the eyes and ears. You do. You absolutely do. My viewers, you, the Purple Power community, absolutely are the eyes and ears of what's going on in stores because you're in all parts of the country, all walks of life, and you see it yourself. And so this morning, I was, I had the, I had uh, what uh, I had another financial news channel hearing their analysts on, and he said the labor market's really strong. Everyone's employment, everyone's salary raises have gone up even more in the last few months. Everyone has a job. The job security is really good. I'm like. This guy's from like a, a cushy environment, like Boca Raton or something. <clears throat> Do not send me hate messages if you're from Boca Raton. But it's just a guy that's in a really cushy environment, and I don't think he's looking, and he's not the eyes and ears in the stores. He doesn't know what he's talking about. What is the takeaway? The takeaway is that the data shows 200,000 new unemployment claims last Thursday. That's not good. That's not a good number. Number two that the number of people who went newly on unemployment last week for the first time ever were people who were laid off because the businesses were about to close. That's not good. I mean, small businesses start to, is starting to implode. And number three, it showed that, the, uh, that we had a lot of cumulative corporate earnings reports in the last two weeks where corporations said we had too many employees on the floor. We had too many employees on the floor. Do we have those massive layoffs? Do we have those massive store closures? Do we have those massive hiring freezes that we saw maybe one, two, three years ago? No, not yet. We don't have that yet. Will we? I believe we will. I believe we absolutely will. The question is when. More about that in a second. And it started really on Saturday. It really started on Saturday. If you're watching this weekend, thank you for being a, a weekend viewer with me. The data came in from... Tesla, Tesla, Elon Musk repeating basically what you and I are saying. Elon Musk said he's worried about this U.S. economy, number one. Number two, he said, uh, I have too many employees. So about 10% of you can go, ho can go home and not come back. There you go. Massive layoff at a big tech giant. Number three, here's the big word, the one that starts with the letter F. No, not that word. <laughs> No, not that, not the four-letter word that starts with that. The other one, freeze. Yeah, he announced a hiring freeze. There will be no new hirings at Tesla for a long time to come. This is what looks like a recession. This is what happens in a recession. You have hiring freezes. And the data point at issue is basically that this supports doing Build Back Better Act. Build Back Better Act and everything of the administration, everything of uh, Wall Street, of the White House, the Fed Reserve, is all anchored upon how strong is the labor market. The labor market ain't strong, folks. We all got to get off of that narrative. The labor strong market is really strong. For every analyst, like the guy this morning I was listening to that was really out to left field, who said, the labor shortage is really strong. There's a real big de demand of labor. Everyone needs jobs. Everyone needs to hire people. They can't get people to work. Uh, that is data from February. This is June going into July. That is not the data point. If you're still repeating that nonsense as a financial analyst, you are really out to left field. The labor market is tightening. Jobs are tightening. Small business is slowly tightening dramatically. And people are being laid off. And as they get laid off, they're having problems finding a new replacement job. This is a switch, switch, switcheroo that's happening. And people who are repeating data points from February are not updating their analysis. This is good news, yes, for Build Back Better Act. Why is this good news? Because Build Back Better Act is supported by weakening economic data. What is the weakening economic data today? A lot of it. First, we just went over labor. Let's go over the economy. The gross national product of the US economy is shrinking dramatically. How much is it shrinking? Well, it was supposed to be 7% in April, came in at 5.9%. Now we are currently heading almost into July. It's likely that the GDP right now is somewhere in the 5% range. We're going to see more about that data in just a few days. 
Uh, it is expected to drop to 4% in just a few weeks. Uh, the Department of Labor and CBO say it's going to be 1% early next year and, or, or, and shortly thereafter. I'm predicting it's going to be zero by the end of the year. Zero growth and then negative growth because that's what a recession is. And that shrinkage of U.S. economy signals that you will see businesses making less more, less money, hiring less people, and having less profit levels. In fact, a major financial analyst this morning said, if you're a company and you have been riding the stock exchange for the last few years based upon no corporate earnings, you're going to get killed. No one's going to buy your stock. What about everyone else? Everyone else is being hit really badly. If you're in the housing industry, the housing sales are dramatically down year to day. We'll have that data on Evening Delay tonight. There's already a housing market crash underway of 2022, and it's going to get much more pronounced. The auto industry is in major crash mode right now. Who else is in crash mode? The stock market. Stock market's down 20% year to date, and it's likely to fall all the way down to 48%. This is all real big reason why you want to get a four stimulus check now in every U.S. state. What are you waiting for? If you heard what I've been going over in just these last few minutes of this recording, you cannot wait. The Build Back Better Act is supported by this bad economic data, but the next 90 days is going to be very severe for this U.S. economy. You don't want to wait. You don't want to sit on that edge of that surf, that edge of that sea, and watch that storm out to sea coming on land. That's what I've been warning for several months, and that's what was detailed last week from Jamie Dimon. Jamie Dimon basically said in the next 90 days, there's a hurricane down the road. I said storm out to sea. He said the hurricane down the road is going to come closer and closer, and a major economic downturn is going to happen. You want to get that four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday. I will give you the details about how to get those incredible checks, but don't worry because we're going to go over those details in the second half of this video. One of the other data points that is so significant in throwing our economy into a tailspin downward, of course, you know what the word is, gasoline and the price of oil. Now, we have a fascinating series of changing events today. And I got to tell you, this is going to be the week in which we see if these events really pan out as indicated. You know, the last 14 days for gasoline in the United States and the international news stories about it have been really just going left and right, real shockers every 24 hours. That's why you can't miss a video on this channel. You got to subscribe. Let me tell you where we are right now. Right now, the price of gasoline is still at the highest level I think I've ever recorded on this channel. That's number one. Number two, is it coming down? There's nothing in the pipeline. <laughs> That's a very uh, ironic metaphor. There's nothing in the pipeline right at this moment to get the price of gasoline down because there is no deal actually right at the edge of the finish line. Number three, do we have the shortage of gasoline growing? Absolutely, per day, number four. And could the situation get a lot worse? Absolutely. So let me tell you where we got to here, and then the shocker of the news story that came in this last weekend. Where we got right here was, we were tracking at about one... 100 a barrel international Brent crude before Vladimir Putin via Ukraine. Then he did. Then it shot up to 110. I said the White House immediately has to find a solution. The Western allies have actually, in fact, have to find a solution for the replacement of Russian oil by May. Or we go into recession. We cannot sustain 115 more a barrel into May. Well, guess where we are to right now. We're likely, at, at, we're hovering on an average of about 120 right now. And we're likely to go to 185. Folks, this is very severe. How, how high is 185 for you? How much is that for you? That would be upwards of $10 a gallon at the pump. Yeah, you thought four was severe. Then you thought $5 a gallon at the pump is severe. What about 10? Here's where everything got really topsy-turvy in the last seven days. Seven day, uh, the, the Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, the Western Allies banned Russian oil finally. They met the European Commission and banned Russian oil. That was a major event. That means that all of them and us now have Russian oil out of the pipeline, out of the supply chain. Do they have solutions lined up? No. How much gasoline is missing then? 3.5 billion barrels a day. That's a lot. 
Let me give you numbers. The amount of gasoline that we could produce in the United States if we did things with Alaska and we did things in Texas would be hundreds of thousands of barrels. This is 3.5 million barrels a day, not a month, a day that are missing. So where do you get all this replacement oil from? Well, there's a lot of choices. And the problem was nothing in the Western allies or the United States had solidified a deal with those choices. I've been featuring the choices on this channel since February when that Putin invasion of Ukraine looked imminent and then it happened. And what's the status of those choices today? This is where it gets fascinating. The first choice featured on this channel was Venezuela, the number one producer of gasoline internationally. Yeah, it's actually Venezuela. Why are we not pursuing Venezuela oil? Because they are under embargo by the United States for a long time because of human rights violations. So they're a human rights violation, uh, H, human rights, an HRV. They are not HRV. Let's get that acronym. I'm creating it right now in the show. You've never heard this acronym before. They are an HRV. They are a human rights violator, according to the United States. So they were not pursued by the United States as a viable option. Number two, we had the opportunity to potentially get it from OPEC Plus. We did not pursue that or finish it out. Mm. United Arab Emirates, which is a United, which is a human rights violator, but they're not under embargo by the United States. They're actually an ally. So the White House pursued them diligently? No, not very clear why. Then we had the opportunity of Iran. Human rights violator? No, actually a little bit worse. Nuclear warhead proliferator. <laughs> yeah. And they're not getting you if you're human rights, then they're getting you if you're nuclear warhead. Uh, and that's why they've been embargoed for many, many years. But there was a likely deal. I featured on this channel for months. I featured the, the hourly update. They were literally at the negotiation table about to sign pen to paper. I'm not exaggerating. It's called the JCPOA, and they were doing it in Brussels. And Germany and France were negotiating for the United States on, uh, with Iran. And then suddenly, no deal. Why no deal? Not particularly clear what happened there either. Suddenly, we have no options and no deals anywhere. And then this happens. Now, this is where it gets really weird. OPEC Plus, in the month of April, cut production. Like we needed any more harm, we had someone cut production. That means, again, less gasoline. That's why we surged to 3.5 million barrels missing per day. Last week, OPEC Plus said, we will ramp up production of gasoline. Uh, excuse me? This is wonderful news. OPEC Plus, could it singularly <laughs> increase the production of gasoline enough to replace the missing Russian oil? Maybe. It's, it's really hard to tell because OPEC Plus involves UAE and a lot of countries like Saudi Arabia. This was astronomical news. What should we have all done right then? We should have done a pair dance. <laughs> we should have done a pair dance. We should have just got up and done a pair dance. Joe should have done a pair dance in the Oval Office in those missing rooms that he doesn't know they exist. He should have got up and done a pair dance. Hey, you, uh, OPEC Plus, should you could produce more oil? Yes, pair dance. Thank you. What did they do instead of the White House? They just poo poo the whole situation. Oh, really? Thank you. Uh, News at 11. <laughs> the what? You, they just sort of throw it out like nothing ever happened. Uh, what? This is the saving uh, holy grail. Why not embrace it and hug it and do a pair dance with it? Did it happen? Unexplainable. I have no idea why. And then as if this strange soap opera could get any weirder, this is what happened. After the White House poo-pooed the UAE, uh, poo-pooed the OPEC Plus announcement of which Saudi Arabia is one of the countries, Joe Biden says, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to Saudi Arabia and get some oil for you. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> what? 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 This is this is totally weird. This is totally weird. Now, let me tell you the economic and financial implications for it for you, and then I'll go over the, the how strange this is. Financially, it could work. It could absolutely work brilliantly. I do. I presume that that Saudi Arabia can ramp up to three and a half million barrels as now missing per day. I believe they alone could get that replacement with oil. So yes, they could be the solution to the entire energy crisis. We could go back to that wonderful cheaper price of gasoline pre-COVID. That is an actual viable solution. But here's where it gets weird. They're part of OPEC Plus. So why are we going around OPEC Plus to go to in one of the individual partner, individual countries of OPEC Plus? And will OPEC Plus allow an individual country to do a deal with us if we're sort of avoiding all of OPEC Plus? Really unclear. I don't know the answer to that. 
But here is where it gets very bizarre. The White House is going to the midterm elections. The midterm elections, the Democrats want to retain control of the Senate. The Democrats are all about morals. The Democrats are about uh, about human consciousness. They're about uh, the moral compass. And so what are they doing? They're sending the leader of the Democratic Party, the President of the United States, to the largest human rights violator on the map for the situation on gasoline, Saudi Arabia, to make a deal. Uh, That doesn't read really well. The projection, the way that projects, the optics on it are horrible. Moreover, they were a human rights violator last October. You could have gone to them then. Instead, you left us paying $5 a gallon, $6 a gallon, $7, $8 a gallon at the pump because you didn't want to do a deal with an HR, HRV, and now you do want to do a deal with an HRV? Really strange. Uh, I got to tell you, it, it doesn't make sense. I really thought that the president should have done the deal with Iran. That would be the cleanest one. Everyone understands that Iranian... Uh, nuclear warheads will be dismantled. They say they would do it. So just do that deal and move on. But, you know, if if you get gasoline from any source for the Western allies, it gets a solution. Again, time horizon, not particularly clear with the White House. And that is why all this economic data is really signaling a massive downturn of this economy in the next 90 days. Jamie Dimon, the head of J.P. Morgan Chase, repeating my comments over the last few months last week. He nearly repeated them verbatim. The only difference is he's not telling us specifically what the economic situation will be called. He's just calling it a downturn. And I'm going to go over that more later in this video. He says the next 90 days, the situation is going to be very dramatic. And that is why you cannot wait. Step one, go under this video right now and subscribe. You want to subscribe. You don't want to miss a single video at a single moment because there's a lot of breaking news. And later today on Afternoons and LA Evenings LA tonight, all brand new shows. We'll have the latest details on these checks and this economy. Step two, become a member. Join under the channel where it says Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Cow, so you know, VIP. Step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 4 p.m., 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And in the second half of this video, get ready. You need some checks. We're going to go over those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. During that commercial break, if you're not a member, become a member. And I'll be back with you in 60 seconds with these incredible checks. From the shores of Santa Monica, California this morning for June 6, 2022, great news as big checks are available. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Morning's Alley live on air continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's a beautiful morning's LA for June 6, 2022. How are you doing? You're looking wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, looking great. A force stimulus check is in every U.S. state, and in the second half of this video, we're going to go over those incredible checks. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. You know, the news that the economic downturn of this U.S. economy is so very well understood coming in 90 days is more reason you don't want to wait to get these checks. 
you don't want to wait to get these checks, but the viewership of this channel is very smart because I give you guidance over the last few months of where this economy is going. And back in March, the viewership of this channel heard me very loud and clear and said, LA, it's not looking good. It's March. Can you go give me a forced stimulus check? And I looked and I got it. And that is these checks, these forced stimulus checks in every U.S. state. If you knew this channel, let me tell you what you're watching. This is one of the most watched financial news channels in America, broadcast or streaming. And now, and since day one, three things always happen in the video. First, I go over where the economy is. Then I go over where the economy is going. And third, I get your money. Getting your money is not about reporting the money. It's actually getting you the money. Finding stimulus packages and programs that the President of the United States or states or local organizations announce that are not really lead news anywhere else. So you're not going to see the scope of this reporting anywhere else. Stimulus checks, as you know, can come from different sources. They can come from Congress, requires a vote, can come from the President, executive order, doesn't require a vote, and can come from the states when the states have leftover money from a private state's previous stimulus package and they can send it out to you. And so in March, we understood there was no vote by Congress. So I looked high and low and I found checks, lots of them, for you from the president and from the states. Let's start with eligibility, which is so important. Eligibility of these checks, you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 or less annual income, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less annual income, go get it. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Veterans Benefits, RB, go get it. If you rent, if you own, go get it. If you have children, if you don't have children, go get it. And with that, let's go over the first check. It's check A. I give them a lettering system, going one check at a time based upon when I found it. And that first check that I found is astronomical. It's a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. It is $6,500 to $12,000. Yeah, you heard me right. Not $1,200, $12,000. I'm only here to get you massive checks, not, monst not puny little checks. And this monster check is huge. $6,500 to $12,000. It's a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. It's called the Homeowner's Gr Weatherizing Grant Check. And how do you get it? Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. Step three, go down to that membership newsletter. You find check A. And when you find check A and you're looking at it in the newsletter, there's a link. Yeah, it's an online application. That's how you apply. And you click the link, you go right in apply, and you get that application in. And you are done, baby. But you're not done with the, all the checks because I got more checks for you. <laughs> you're going to go then get check B. Check B is a $15,000 to $80,000 forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. It is called the Homeowner's Grant Check. Single individual, married couple, go get it. On benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, go get it. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, go down that membership newsletter to find Check B. There it is. Click the link and go right in and apply. Astronomically incredible. Look how monstrous this check is. I want to get you monster checks, big checks, so that you're financially independent for months to come. And you need to hoard these checks. Hoarding checks is very important. You need to get these checks and put them away and save them. Because we don't know what's going to happen as this U.S. economy falls into recession next year. What will be the status of stimulus in 2023? I don't know. But I do know I got another check for you. <laughs> that is check C. Check C is for my renters. Yes, my renters and homeowners. And it is a beautiful, it is a beautiful MSC, monthly stimulus check, averaging $2,000 over 12 months. Oh, it is the residue of third stimulus. Many viewers are averaging about $45,000. How do you get to check C? Same way, almost. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Go down that membership newsletter till you find Check C, and then it tells you who to call, what to say, how to say it. You're going to make about 15 plus phone calls, and you're going to have about a 30 to 50 percent rejection rate, but the rest is going to be approval rate on average. And when you get those incredible Check C's, then you're going to do basically everything I've been teaching on this channel since December 2020. Check C has been on this channel since December 2020. I've gotten viewers over $50 million for this channel because I've been doing this for a long time. We started initially the very first days of this channel with EIDL and EIDL grants, PUA, FPUC, LWA. And then by December 2020, thick of the pandemic, no second symbols being done by Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin. Viewers said, find me some money. I found it, this rent, this utilities and more. And with that incredible money, I said, here you go, go get it. 
and viewers got it, even though there wasn't a lot of it in December 2020. But at the time, I said, I have a preview of a piece of legislation coming next year, and you're going to kill it when it happens because you got the skill set I'm teaching right now. It's called, I'm going to call it third stimulus. I coined the expression. Third stimulus became law, and the viewership of this channel cleaned up. They continued to clean up day after day, week after week, because we kept on going over this incredible sums of money. I called it purple. I called it third stimulus. Now it's called check C. It's all the same item. And it's astronomical. Let's look at the success stories that viewers have had from getting these incredible checks from the membership newsletter and across the board. Let's look at this. $20,000 all the way up to $30,000. Look at these success stories. Nisi, her name is under um, under Richard there. She's the $20,000 under, under him. Can't see it because of the overlay graphic. She has now continued to come watch the videos every single day on Evenings LA. She gets another $8,000 every few days. Isn't that wonderful? She's just a great viewer. Here's Mark. His brother-in-law got $15,000 for utilities. Here's the snap. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year over 10 years, a quarter million dollars from snap. Then here is Mark and Nisi when we look at the combos. Nisi keeps on getting $8,000 every few weeks. She's clearly over $50,000. Mark is a $32,000, long-time viewer. Then he went to $50,000. Uh, here's his graphic. Then he went to 100000 Then he got check B. Remember the check that goes up to 88000 to 80000 He got 66000 from it. So he's at 166000 Here's Lorraine, another wonderful success story. She was at one hundred five, and then she went to one twenty. I have a lot of viewers who have success stories that are over $200,000 from this check C. Astronomical success stories. It all depends on the effort you want to put in. And I have wonderful viewers who just keep on getting a couple hundred dollars, uh, $900 to $800 every few days. It adds up, and it's astronomical. Here's some other tidbits to go over with you in the newsletter. Number one, I started repeating this, uh, started saying this last weekend, and viewers have been sending me a lot of thank you messages. The LA newsletter is delivered to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I've been saying that on this channel for months. But I made it very clear this last weekend, it's Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> People don't realize the different standards of times. So... That means it's delivered on my time schedule, which is West Coast time, Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. If you are not on the West Coast, then when do you see it land the LLA alert, the YouTube alert for the newsletter? East Coast Standard Time, it's 10 p.m. You're three hours later. Midwest, like Central Standard Time, you're two hours later, so you're 9 p.m. Know what standard of time you are, because if you're looking at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and you're not in the in the West Coast Standard Time, you're going to be looking at the wrong time. So at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, if you're East Coast, that's 10. If you're Central, that's 9. Viewers said, oh, that really made a big help. I did not realize that error I was making. Viewers, viewers have now said, not my error, they said their error. That is the first thing. Next, if you need assistance on opening the newsletter, looking for the newsletter, then sign me a private message at facebook.com forward slash LA News. At 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you get that alert that says new L8 post, YouTube alert, not L8 alert, YouTube alert, that says new L8 post, and it says first line newsletter, goes down there, says click here to read the post, you click it and you go right to the post, and there you go. You want to subscribe, you want to go to the first channel, hit that little bell, make sure the bell is hit to all notifications. Number three, get that membership signed up. Become a member and stay a member because these incredible checks are astronomical. Check A, check B, check C, go down that membership newsletter. And don't just do it one time, do it nightly. Keep on going and getting other checks across the board. And as that newsletter gets modified, then more checks appear, like check D. Check D is in about 24 U.S. states. There's about $2,000 a month. Uh, it's about $2,000 a check. Uh, and uh, more states could potentially be adding as well. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, go down in the incredible newsletter and get it right today. What do we have coming up today on this channel? What do we have coming up this week? So later today, we're going to see some of the financial implications of the U.S. market based upon those inflationary pressures. Stocks are trading up 300 points this morning, but we're pulled back down to about 100 points up at the time of this live broadcast. Uh, we're going to see later today the implications of the jitteriness 
of the financial markets based upon a series of factors. One, Federal Reserve, number two, the inflationary gauge coming later this week, and number three, the corporate earnings. The Federal Reserve, in my opinion, is going to do two more 50 basis point increases and then one quarter. So another 50, another 50, and then a quarter. That would bring down inflation a little bit, but not a lot. The Federal Reserve is going to be running their mouth over the next week saying how they're going to get down to 2%. No one now believes that anymore. I've been saying for a very long time, nothing the Federal Reserve is doing is going to work. They're going to get it down to maybe 4% by the end of the year. And what has now been confirming that report? <laughs> a lot of people. A lot of people are now confirming my report that the Federal Reserve will knock in inflation down to 2%. First, Department of Labor. Second, the CBO. Third, Art Hogan. These three sources all this week, last week and the week before that, said it's going to come down to about 4% later this year. Half of where it is right now. Half of where it is right now, yes. Many analysts now believe inflation is still at 8%. Who was the first to tell you that inflation was going to go to 8% in December 2021 and stay there for many months to come? I was the only person who said that. So the financial projections on this channel have been right spot on. What am I and you together looking at for financial data this week to gauge where this economy is going? Well, later today, we'll have the corporate earnings from Coupa Software and GitLab. But tomorrow is really an interesting one. We have Cracker Barrel tomorrow. We have JM Smuckers. And then we have the consumer credit data that comes in later tomorrow. That's a big number. It's in the afternoon, actually. Wednesday, are corporate earnings from Campbell's Soup. Uh, but... Um, we want to see that wholesale trade number early in the morning at 10 a.m. Thursday is a big day. We're going to have that new jobless claims number. I want to see if it's 200,000 again. Folks, it, it just cannot be that 200,000. It's a bad number. It needs to be 180. As long as it stays at 200,000, I'm very worried that the downward spiral in this economy is going to be very pronounced. And then Friday, here we go. Friday is the CPI. The Consumer Price Index number is released Friday morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. With the consumer sentiment released an hour and a half later, this is a big day, and that's a big data point. Why? Because Wall Street is looking at that data point to determine where inflation is, and if inflation comes in exactly what they thought, they're happy. If it's not, they're worried. What are they looking at? They're looking at this CPI number, which is a year-to-date number, year over year, to come in at 8.2%. At compared to the April number the month before at 8.3%. Almost the same number. That's what they want. That's their projection. If the read, if the actual reported number is substantially higher, it will spook the market. If it's substantially lower, uh, it will surprise everyone. What do I think it's going to come in at? I think it's going to come in right on the money. I, I don't think it's going to be higher, and I don't think it's going to be lower. Investors are in a more constructive phase that they can carry through if the, the CPI is anywhere near consensus or better, says Art Hogan in those comments. So there you go. That data point is very important for you. Meantime, inflation overseas is getting very, very bad, and they're looking at our inflation data, and that's why it's so important to watch this across the board. Today, we have a brand new Afternoons LA show at 3 o'clock. Brand new. You do not want to miss it. It will be different than tonight's Evening's LA, which is America's most watched show in prime time at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Why? Because there's so much moving data and moving breaking news on the hour, by the hour, that the shows do not overlap. Make sure you watch all the shows because I may have another check in a potential show and it will not be repeated in a later show. Uh, so join me next, however, at 11 a.m., where I have a home LA. And in home LA today, we're going to go over the routing time of checks. When would checks likely land? What are the routing checks and times on check A, B, and C, and D? Everything you need to know. Then we come up tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time is Evenings LA. Throughout the day, join me for LA Live that airs on this channel. And LA Live gives you the rundown on the hour live as the breaking news happens. But if you haven't, do it right now. The financial downturn of this economy is agreed upon. Everyone says the economy is going down. What the magnitude of it is called, whether it's called recession or something else, that's the issue of disagreement. But the issue is the economy is going to really contract in 90 days. You can't wait. Get that for us. check in every U.S. state. Step one. Step two, subscribe. Step three, become a member. The membership links in the video. Join this channel right now. Become a member. What are you waiting? Don't wait a second. Join right now. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Then get that membership newsletter. 
Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. For the shores of Santa Monica, California, I'll see you back at 11 a.m. This video will automatically take you there. It's home L8 at 11 a.m. today with details on your check and it's routing time. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day. The toast is toast and the butter is buttering and mornings L8 will continue.